गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर एम एच अन्नैया एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो फ्रेंड्स वी गोइंग टू वर्क आउट ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ए राइट सर्कुलर गोन विच इज कट इन दिस फॉर्म वी नीड टू ऑप्टेन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दिस पार्ट विच इज इन बिटवीन these two section planes i want the development of this part whatever i have shown here friends the height of the object is given and now let us find out the angle theta that is the angle subtended by the arc at the apex o friends we have the formula to find out theta given by theta is small r by capital r Into three hundred and sixty degrees. What is R here? R stands for the radius of the base. The diameter is sixty. Radius is half of that. R is equal to d by two. That is sixty by two. That is thirty mm. And friends, capital R stands for the length of the slant generator or the end generator. So this can be obtained. Only after construction of this triangle in the plane view, we can keep a scale and see measure the actual length of that, and can be obtained from the figure. Then, friends, theta can be calculated. Say you get some angle, so which can be calculated. Say 140 degrees. You have not calculated. You have to make the actual calculation and keep the answer, friends. With this value of theta, hundred and thirty degrees, let us write down the development of the cone as a sector here. So, friends, this is say the development of this cone having a slant generator length equal to r. And friends, I have written a circle here to represent the top view. And I have divided the circle into eight parts, and I will name them as A, B, C, B, E, F, G, and H. O is the center. This O one is the center of the base. I will call it as O one dash, and this as O dash. Here, I have divided the circle into eight equal parts. So also, we will divide this sector with angle theta is equal to one thirty degree. Say so what you have calculated. We will divide also into eight equal parts. They should have the same included angle. So this is six, and this becomes equal to eight. And friends, I will number all these. So before going to this part, let us name this here. This is a dash. End line is e dash. Center is. C dash G dash. Then we have got D and F here. D and F. And here we have got B and H at the same distance. B comma H. So this is B dash H dash, C dash G dash, and this is D dash F dash. This point is D dash F dash. So there is no place to mark, and I have not shown there. Friends, here let us consider these two lines as section planes. I will say this is section plane one. Yes, one. Yes, one. Is a section plane one, which is cutting this solid horizontally. That is, yes, one. Yes, one can be considered to be a horizontal section plane, which is cutting this solid at a height of forty millimeter from the base. A dash E dash, friends. This section plane S one S one is cutting all the eight generators of the cone at equal height from the base. So in the development, friends, we are going to have a curve or an arc taking this distance as radius. We can simply write an arc or a quadrant like this. And all these will have the same radius because the base A dash E dash is parallel to this, and hence since these two are parallel, 
the curve you get here and the base they will be parallel to each other and friends these are the points where the generators are cut by the horizontal section plane and this is how it looks for the top plane friends let us take the other inclined line and the inclination is given to be 30 degrees and this is passing through or cutting all these generators OE, OC, OG, OD and is passing through A. So friends let us mark this as A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E, F. G, H and A. Friends, now the section plane S2, S2 that is the second section plane which is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal is passing through A dash while cutting all these generators. So friends, let us start from this point A. So the section plane is passing through A and we have these two points for A. Then the generators OB and OH are cut here. OB and OH are not true length. So I am going to shift that to the last line which is the true length and transfer that on OB and OH. So I will take a point here on OB and same distance on OH. This gap is equal to this gap. Friends, OC and OG are cut here. Again, these generators are not true in length. Hence, I shift that to either to the left generator or to the right generator or end generator here. Mark this distance on OC and OG. It will higher. OC and OG. I am going to mark those two points. Then friends, here this is over. Then we have got OD and OF are cut here. OD and OF are cut here by the section plane S2. And this is not the true length. Shift that line, that point to the last line. Mark that on OD and OF. Little more than that. OD and OF. And finally friends, the last generator, the end generator O dash E dash is cut here. This is the true length. Simply mark this true length on this OE. Friends, we have got all these points. Join all these points by a smooth continuous curve. And the, this portion from S1, S1 to A is retained. So I am going to show that by a dark line and friends here you can see this portion between this arc and this will give you the development of P the portion between section plane S1 S1 and S2 S2 which are marked as P friends and uh, after you get Getting this development, if you fold it, it will be something like this, friends. It all depends on how from which point you are starting. And if you fold like this, friends, you are going to get the front view like this. That is, the front view will have a top surface like this, and this bottom face is cut at an angle like this. And if you spread it to open. This is the development you get and uh, friends, we have completed the development of the portion of the cone between S1, S1 and S2, S2. Please go through the complete video and if you like this video, do not forget to share this information with all your friends and have a wonderful day friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube video.